Please log in the information requested. Access granted. Exclusive audio from 110sportspodcast.com. Uh, Charlie, you also wrote on CBSSports.com a little bit about the Penn State scandal. How do you think you would handle the situation like one that occurred in State College if you were a GM of, of an NFL team? Well, I think, you know, again, we don't know all the facts here. Uh, that, that's the one thing uh, it's hard to say. I can't fault looking at uh, the wide receiver, Coach McCreary, when he was an intern about not calling the police through as a GA. I got it. I got it. I, 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 I can't believe that there would be many interns or bottom people in an organization that would take it upon themselves to call the police without going to their uh, boss. So I, I can't fault him on that, uh, that part of the problem, uh, premise. Now, why this thing didn't get to the police, you know, we don't know all the facts. Obviously, Sandusky says he's innocent. Clearly, by reading reports on it, the, uh, there's other people that don't feel uh, he's innocent on this thing. Uh, I would say, as a general rule, I would expect uh, people to follow protocol and bring it to their boss. They ultimately, bring it to me. I would bring it to the owner. If McCrary's uh, testimony is uh, is true, then uh, you obviously have to get somebody on the outset involved. The problem you have is you obviously, in that administrative situation, would then bring in Sandusky okay, and say, well, what's your version of this story? And, and I would also bring in the 10-year-old person, the parents, and talk to them uh, separately on this. So that's probably how I, that, to me, that's how I would have handled it. Based on if it was conflicting testimony, well, clearly you have a situation that has to go to the police here. So regardless of how serious the situation, most NFL teams in kind of what you think is basically there still is a chain of command to kind of follow regardless? Well, I, I think you have to. I, I, but what I said in my column is I, I'd want to sit down with our attorneys and, and you tell us what we have to do here. You know the law. You know our liability. Tell us what to do. Okay, that, that's, that, that would be my question on it. Uh, but I did ask a lot of people this, and, and, they, and they all felt that, no, there'd be a chain of command that you would go through. Uh, we're not talking about what you would do at that moment to break up the incident. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what happens as you walk uh, when you're, you get away from it. Mm-hmm. What's the first phone call you make? 